Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching, my name is Nick and we are playing once more Dragon Quest Builders for the Nintendo Switch. Previously, well, I kind of finished up the town. We had, well, we got the ultimate weapon and uh, we took out some big monstrosities and well the magmalis and the fern fiend weren't too happy with that so we are now in the final stretch with the final few fights against well his minions Whoa. yeah Okay. Yeah, <laughs> of course not. Nothing stands against the Bashmobile. Although I do have to be careful not to uh, bounce them towards the boss. Sure, I will. Of course, I will. Okay, in the previous fight, at the end of the last episode, we had to deal with enemies we found in coal. So dancing flames, lagger demons, knights, all that kind of stuff and at the end a huge big troll. As you can guess, this time we are dealing with enemies. Ouch, 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 ouch. Don't, 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 don't. Ow. Oh, lucky. This time we are dealing with enemies. From Gallanome. You know, if I can keep bouncing in between the two of you, that will also work. Eh. That's fine yeah, as well. So that was the first wave. Now on to the second. <laughs> Oop. Oops. Well, those are flames. Not that they are gonna do a lot of da damage with the. But. Well, the leader of these guys. Is a Gigantes. Not someone easily pushed over. Again, um, the same with the troll. Keep him away from the bath. Make sure he doesn't get to the bath. If anything, drive it away, lure him away. Push him to a side where he... Oh! Hey! I never knew he would do that. Uh, the guys are already gone us. I thought uh, the pushers actually couldn't do anything to him. Huh. Interesting. No, I'm not gonna... This is gonna be tough because I have to aim for him and make sure he stays on this side of the wall. And not actually go. Yeah, okay, that, that works.
and I only get a bunch of fur for defeating him. Ah oh man, he did do a number on my uh, environment here. That's not so, uh, such a nice thing. Oh well. Well, but like I said, we are in the final stretch. Barbella has the next, well, wave already lined up for us. Yeah, uh, at the end of the last episode, they were coal enemies, like I said, and now they were from Galanome. Well, we've been threatening both of them, and we've been uh, kind of subduing their hand. Okay. Of course I'm ready. Okay, starting off, we have enemies, ouch, from Cole. These are the knights. And as we have said, the knights, oh, ho, ho, ho. why are you? Ow. Let's deal with you pretty fast. This is one of three. Okay, now you're gone. Yeah, he also did a number on my... Okay. Second wave is up now. So I'll keep a uh, Hunter Max. These are enemies from Galanome. It's really fun how uh, even though they are working together the battles still maintain <laughs> oh still maintain separation between coal and galanome monsters and you know exactly what you're dealing with although on one side i would have liked to see a max a matchup of uh, monsters that would battle one another but yeah it's fine like this as well Oh, and he gives. Oh well, that was the second wave. Ooh, a seed of life. Man, time goes fast in this. Oh. That is a different uh, battle uh, that we've seen before. That's boss battle. So, well, let's start with the new day first. But I also wanted to build something. A final build for this for this uh, chapter. This room is fine, but for a room that only has two beds in it, it's kind of big. I was planning for something to upgrade this room. Okay, uh, let's see. I need... What I, do I need? I need a pot. Do I have a pot? Well, let me put away these things first. So, do I have a pot? No, I don't have a pot. Uh, two bats are already in there. A portrait of a lady is already in there. And two dumbbells... Okay, I don't have any of the things I actually need to put in there. So let me expand it with the thing I do want to put in there. So now I need a pot. The 
beds were already in there, the portrait of the lady as well. Next up, well, let's make a residence sign. You probably can guess where this is going to. And I don't think it's on this one. I think I need to go here for the two dumbbells. I need two of them, yes. At least if my notes are correct, then I need that. So let's upgrade our butch bedroom to well, let's... Do I remove this carpet? Ah, uh, no. Let's leave the carpet in this time. Uh, actually... Let's put the carpet a little bit somewhere else. Oh yeah. I also need to remove this and... Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't break the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Woo. Don't break any walls. I haven't destroyed it, but it's lagging behind, isn't it? Yes, it's lagging behind. Um, let's put the carpet clock in there and now put down the carpet again. Eh, let's put it here. Um, Okay, I thought I put it in a spot, but... Okay, let's put it there, and both beds. Which is bedroom. This turns the butcher's bedroom into a shared room. And finally... Let's put down... Oh, I only need... Oh no, this is uh, the bodybuilder's boudoir that I also have on that side. And now... It turns it into a strongman's shared room. Strongman's shared room, two resident sign, one pot, two beds, portrait of a lady, two dumbbells and a light source. A place where a pair of bodybuilding buddies can really feel the burn. Can be assigned as a resident's private room. So, who shall I put in here then? Um, okay, right. First up, uh, who shall we put in here? Shall I be nasty and put Bert and Cecile together? Ah, oh, that's mean. That's feeding his delusion, though. It would be funny. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll decide later. But at least, yeah. That's what I wanted to do for that, though. Um, something else as well. No, that's just it. Although, considering the day is already over for uh, quite a while, for a bit, I think I'm resetting it back to the beginning before we go into the final battle. Okay, Barbella!
Eh. Not a really good point of view. I should have waited for some other place. Okay. Yep, this is it. It seems like the boss battle. Yeah, I think it's handling great. Yeah, so if you really need to have some practice, uh, just go drive in the uh, either in Gallenholm on the open um, snowfield where there are no trees, or a little bit south of here. Uh, where you can also dodge a little bit of rocks but eh, you have at least the space to go around. I think the ice lake on the second Gallenholm Island is also a good place. Uh, the second island with those lakes of lava is not a good place to practice though. Oh wait, I forgot something. Before I start. Uh, let's see. Eh. What? I'm missing ch chili peppers. Oh well, it doesn't do anything for my attack anyway, so... Let's make as many as it can from, from this one. It doesn't restore much, but it's the best healing you can get in this. Outside of... Well, a few seeds of life. Yeah, I should now be well set to... Uh, Go to war with the Magmalis and the Fern Fiend. Yeah, okay. Yes, let's get going. <laughs> That's a little bit of nod to uh, actually to the actual Dragon Quest games because usually you find them in chests or you buy weapons in shops or you commission someone to forge it for you. Well, except in Dragon Quest XI, the hero actually has to go out to forge a sort of light for himself. Okay. Okay, let's get going. Our boss fight is against the Magmalus and the Fern Fiend himself. And this is why I don't want walls around my uh... well around my uh, town during the boss fight Magmalis and the Fern Fiend well a little bit of history about uh, oh, no actually here this is lava if you fall in, you want to get out as quickly as possible. If you have a wall in the way, or you have a door that you cannot go through, that is going to be very difficult. Oh crap! They do break your town! I did not know that! No! Well, I don't have the other one, so... Um, yeah. I thought... He couldn't actually break you, but actually do any damage to the town. Apparently he can. 
I have some rebuilding to do. If you go on, ouch, on the flames, the magmalis will actually try to hurt you. So, in order to travel safely over the flames, ow, you actually need the bashmobile. However, if you stand on the island, he will not do this. Oh yeah, I probably he won't hurt you. Hurt the town because you're actually not... Well, how should I put it? Not really in town to do anything. This is a good reason why you need... The Magmalus will move from one... Well, one level location to the other and... Are you kidding me? Okay, then I will... Don't try to do it uh, from too far. Try to go up closely. You also see now a timer in the bottom. And that's the... Ouch! Amount of time you have before you actually get before the hand comes back um, now the fern fiend is here you're safe on the uh, fire areas however if you're going in the ice that's not so safe and because I want to show you all of that I am going really yeah same uh, same as before. Use the Bashmobile to take him out. Try to avoid his uh, little minions as much as possible. Like I said, as much as possible. I hope this is sufficient. Okay, now some background info. The Fernfiend and the Magmalus both are not enemies in Dragon Quest 1 or 2. They are enemies from Dragon Quest 3, which is a prequel story to Dragon Quest 1. They were also not from Alephgard. They were from They were from the world above Alephgard. Where the well, where the hero, Erdrick, originally came from. That's where... Oh, crap, I missed. Oh, camera. So, yeah, like the Hades Condor, the Dragon Lord probably enlisted... Ah, I'm really not paying attention to where I'm aiming at. Probably enlisted these enemies from above. So, to serve as a... Um, no, I missed that one. To serve as uh, enemies, well... As generals for each area. Um, most of the enemies in Dragon Quest 1 are, or there aren't that many, many enemies in Dragon Quest 1. But okay, well. Remember what Galileo was working on to combining the powers of fire and ice. And the monsters had a had a uh, oh boy had access to this let's make sure we are away now both fire and ice will hurt you so if you want to do something stay off of both or be in the bashmobile you will get have to deal with both hands this time um, also one thing, this uh, boss fight is probably the easiest boss fight when you've played this game for the first time. 
That's mostly because you don't know what the boss is all about. Or all the bosses are all about. And, well, you don't actually have to worry too much about this one. This one is pretty easy to figure out what you need to do. And how you can, how you have to defeat him. Which is different with the Hades Condor where you have to build up or something. Or the Golem that can actually do a lot of damage to your town. However, in subsequent playthroughs, I find that this is one of the more difficult bosses. Ow! To deal with. Because his, di uh, his difficulty doesn't actually change. He still has the same mana. There is nothing you can prepare do to prepare for him. And thus, unlike the golem where you can pretty much build an obsidian wall. Where, and the Hades Condor where you can build your town as low as possible. You had a very easy time dealing with them. The for the hostile merger and the uh, magmalus and the fern fiend, the only thing you can do is make sure you don't have a wall out around your town when dealing with his well his onslaught. Because if you fall down from those side par uh, parts. You need to get back and get out of the lava sufficiently uh, fast or you'll keep getting damaged. So, yeah. The Sunstone, a divine jewel that shines like the summer sun. Oh yeah, one more thing. The Hostile Merger is not an enemy from Dragon Quest. That one is unique. To, to the, well, Dragon Quest Builders. And I have a... Uh, let me rebuild this, shall we? Okay, I finally re rebuilt that corner of the town that was broken. I really did not know that he could... Uh, that they could actually do something like that. Huh. That was weird. But then again, I mostly you mostly spend your time on the outside ring. So they don't draw, throw the balls actually at the town. That's also something. This is really war where they want to fight the builder. And everything. And just like the Hades Condor. Well, the Hades Condor had his minions. That would go uh, through the town. Although the Hades Condor himself was more after the builder. The golem was actually all about destroying the town. He couldn't care less about the builder. Well, at first. But you do see that enemies are getting more and more aggr aggressive towards you. Uh, the bo in boss battles. I mean. And that's also a really nice build up in, the, in that sense. Because, damn, this is, that makes this game so fantastic. It has a really good story in it. Basic, but still enjoyable. And you can see the progression from chapter to chapter. Um, that having said that, I do want to end this episode over here. Uh, maybe a little bit shorter than previously, uh, than uh, or originally thought. But I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope... Well, if you enjoyed it, leave a like behind. And if you didn't uh, enjoy it, then leave a dislike behind. Really? We just had the boss battle. And now there's already someone knocking at the wall. Huh. They don't know what, they, uh, uh, what they're dealing with. Okay. I 
Um, yeah. What was my thought? Oh yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!